Hi everyone, it's Carol, and welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you could be here and hang out with me. Today, I am starting a new episode called Ask the Designer, where I'm going to be answering a design question. So if you ever have a question for me, please leave it in the comments. I won't be able to get to all of them, but I'll try as hard as I can to be able to answer as many questions as possible. So today's question is, how large of an area rug should I buy for my living room? And this is a really great question because area rugs are this really wonderful opportunity to almost create another area, a defined area, almost like a little mini room inside a room. And it really is this nice piece that pulls everything together, you know, pulls your sofa together and the coffee table and if you have any chairs or any other furniture, and it really defines a space. And so when you want to really, you know, have a specific area for your living room area, having an area rug is a way to pull everything together. And I always recommend trying to buy an area rug that is in proportion to the size of your sofa or even sectional. So having something too small or too big is just going to look odd and feel out of place. And so you want something that's going to be just the right size. And so I always recommend getting an area rug that is at least as wide as your sofa, if not wider. So, and that is looking at the area rug, say if the area rug is a rectangle shape, then using that longer edge as, you know, the edge to measure by. And nine times out of 10, you'd want to place the sofa, the, you know, the width of the sofa parallel to that longer side of the rectangle of an area rug. And that way, everything is kind of in proportion and everything kind of um, not matches, but there's this balance and there's this look that things kind of make sense. So always kind of keep that in mind as well. So, you know, nine times out of 10, you'd want to, you know, center your sofa on the longest side of an area rug and being sure to have the area rug at least as wide, but if you can have it even wider than the sofa, that's even better. So if you start out knowing, you know, the width of your sofa, that's a really good starting point. And of course, the other things that come into play are, you know, the width of your wall. So say if you have your sofa or a sectional against a wall, well, you wouldn't want um, an area rug that would, you know, go outside that area or go into a walkway. So, you know, you would be mindful about, you know, walkways or other furniture on either side of the sofa or even if you have your sofa or sectional in a shared area where, you know, there's a living room area, but also, you know, a dining room area, you know, that area rug will help you define that space, but also letting you know, you know, how wide you can go to make sure you don't encroach, you know, on the dining room area. And then the other thing to think about when you were looking for a sofa, especially a sectional, is making sure to get an area rug, right, that is wide, that's at least as wide as the sectional, but also deep enough so that the entire sectional can fit on it. So you always, I always recommend being able to have your sofa or your sectional sit on the area rug. And that could just be overlapping a little bit on the edges, or it could be entirely on the whole area rug and having everything sit on there. But what the area rug is doing, it's really is bringing things together. It's defining a place and a space for everything. And so you want things to feel and look connected. So I always recommend placing the furniture at least over the edge of the area rug, if not even more on the area rug. And then that way, everything looks and feels connected. 
So for instance, if you had, say, a six foot wide sofa, you could get um, maybe a six by nine foot wide area rug. But you would want to, you know, place your sofa width against that nine foot, the longest side, and then, right, the rest of that area rug would come out. And you would have room for at least a coffee table. But if you wanted to have room for some chairs or anything else that would be part of that arrangement, then you could get a larger area rug, you know, seven and a half by nine and a half. And so nine and a half would be, you know, along that longest side of the sofa. And then you would have a deeper area for other furniture. And then this is where you can think about um, your sofa doesn't have to be all the way on the area rug. It could just, if you need to pull out the area rug, think of it as kind of um, an adjustable piece in your furniture arrangement. You can pull out the area rug a little bit and just to make sure that the sofa and the coffee table and any other piece of furniture is least on the area rug a little bit so that everything feels connected. But if you pull out that area rug out a little bit more, then you'd have room, you know, for chairs or anything else that would be a part of that seating arrangement. And then say if you had a sectional, so, you know, the widest part of the sectional, it's 10 feet wide and then maybe seven feet out. And so, right, you want to make sure you get um, an area rug as at least as wide as that sectional, if not wider. And so you could choose an eight by 10 foot area rug, but what about choosing like a nine by 12 foot area rug? So you'd have your 10 foot parallel to the longest part of the area rug, the 12 feet, and then you would have nine feet coming out and that would be more than enough room for a coffee table, it could even be part of like kind of a walking area or even adding a chair or two inside there if you needed to. So that would be just a really great way of kind of just bringing that whole seating arrangement together. So when you're looking for an area rug, pay attention just to your space. You know, how large is your sofa or how large is your sectional? And then how large of a space do you have it, whether it's a wall or just an area in a larger room where you're sharing it with other things like a dining room area? Just pay attention to what you have in your place and then get an area rug that the longest side is at least as wide, if not wider than, you know, the width of your sectional. And then go from there. You can get any kind of size that will fit in your room. And that's the main thing is just making sure it fits in your room and is, you know, in proportion to what you have going on in your space. So let me know if you have any questions around this topic in the comments or any other great ideas that maybe I didn't think of. And then let me know if you have a design question. Leave that in the comments. I can't um, promise to get to every single question, but I'll try really hard to be able to answer as many as possible. Take care.